Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes it's useful to know the actual angle of things. So let's start off with a relatively simple example here. We want to know the angle of this horizon. So what we do is we go to the pen tool down here and we want to use this to measure the angle up here. So I click on the pen tool, click once there and I have to double click or click twice at the other end Otherwise, I'll start drawing a shape. I just want to draw a line. There. Now then down here, I go to the Transform tool, which you can't see it. Go to View, Studio and Transform. But at the moment, it's greyed out because I've got to go to the Move tool up here, to the arrow. When I click on that, now I can see here that the it's one degree. So I know that. Is that a lot? I think I can see it, so I want to rotate the whole thing. So if I want to rotate the line as well, I'll, I've got that there as a curve. Shift click on that, and then to rotate it, I'm on the move tool, but it's greyed out. And that's because I've got the little X's here around it because it's locked. So the background here has got the lock on it. Click on that padlock. I've now got circles, and now I can change it here. Because it's one degree, I want to put in minus one. And there you go, that's straightened it all up. So now I can go to that curve, delete that, and then crop it in appropriately, and I've got it nice and straight. Bit more complicated. Let's take this one here and say, is all this straight? Well, I'm going to start off, I've got a horizontal here, I like the picture. And I'm going to click here for a line, the pen tool. So I'll click on one point here and double click up there. Go to the move tool. It's 0.1 degrees. That's pretty much it. Because if I go to the node tool, notice here a tiny change of this is going to make a significant change in the angle. So if I go to there, see, it gets, that's 0.1. It's very, very close. However, now what if I want to go to measure the vertical here? Well, if that's 0.1, that should be very, very close to 90 degrees. Let's go to the node tool, put one point down here. We can use the re you reuse the same line and draw the other one up here. But and then go to the move tool. But this is 88 degrees and that's because this is vertical but what I've got is converging vertical the the verticals here this is horizontal I got converging verticals because the camera is tilted upwards so now I could decide do I use this or do I use that or I could even go and use the perspective tool and stretch it to fit so that sort of thing it can help me work out what if, however, I want to say someone just for some reason I want to measure the angle of this roof up here? So I'll just start again here, go to the pen tool, and what I'm going to do here, because if I do a straight line, it'll tell me what the angle is from the horizontal, but I want it to start off from zero. So I click once, click once at the other end here, then double click back on the original. And now I've got a line here. If I go to the Move tool, it's starting at zero. So if I can rotate this, it will then tell me the angle. So if I put, click on it here, so I'll just click and drag, put it about the middle. And that's because it rotates about the middle. So when I put it here and rotate it, then it's going to rotate and tell me the angle here. So I put it there. See, it's just about that there so and the angle there it says is 79 degrees hmm, that looks a bit wrong because this looks more than 90 degrees so it's probably been turned the wrong way so let's go back the other way and there we go that's straight and if you want to you can move it in it'll still be the same yeah that's fitting in quite right and the angle now is minus 100 degrees in other words this is 100 degrees which is just over 90 so I know now the angle of that roof. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.